Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and today I'm gonna show you how to actually set up your add-ons for PC. So you could call this an advanced add-on guide or what have you. But I have a beginner add-on video that I can link in the description and at the top of the screen that talks about the best add-ons in my opinion and a general overview of them. This is something that I wanted to do since I made that video and this has been heavily requested by you all. And also I just see a lot of comments asking me about add-ons and which ones I'm running and you know which ones are which uh, in my screen and all that stuff. So what I thought I'd do is I'd go into exactly how I have mine set up so you can mimic these if it works for you. I'm also going to go into the libs and the dependencies that are needed as well. But like I said, this one, we're going to go step by step into each add-on and show you guys everything you need to know and how my screen is set up. First off, if you want to ever watch me play live, I stream on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday on twitch.tv slash probably got this at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come and ask questions and hang out. You can also join our Discord and our guild, the Necker Daddies or the Brafia Discord. The links to all that and my Twitch channel will be in the description below. Also, all of my social links, Instagram and Twitter will be in the description as well if you want to follow me there. And if you want to stay updated throughout the day, um, you can uh, check out those Twitter and Instagram feeds. But with that, let's get into the video. Now I'm going to assume that you all have downloaded Minion, the client that allows you to download add-ons already, if you are in this video at this point. If you haven't, that's okay. Just search for Minion in Google, download the client. It's pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I cover that in my best add-on guide in the description. You go to the client, search the add-on you want, and install it. So we're pretty much going to get to where you guys and gals can have your UI, your crafting, and all other sorts of notifications organized so it's not a cluster on your screen. I know in my other add-on video, people had installed all the ones and didn't know which ones to deactivate, so I'm going to go through each of the add-ons I've turned on and go through their settings. Because one of the biggest things that I see is people over add on if that's even a word. And what this means is they don't realize some add-ons overlap or do the same function. So then you have 400 text boxes or bugs that happen and it's not a fun time. And then it'll overlap a lot of times and it just doesn't look good. But again, make sure you have Minion downloaded. I'll put the link to the download in the description. You just go, you download it, you pull it up, and then you can just literally search for these add-ons. They're usually in the top add-on downloaded, like they'll have like a list, and you guys can just add them, and then you can update them whenever they need updates. That's all you have to do, it's amazing. But let's go ahead and get started. Here's my screen currently. Um, we're in my house, so you see a few extra add-ons here that nor normally aren't here. But you see the magic carpet one, which is right here, um, and the essential housing, which is right here. You guys can honestly just ignore those. I'm not going to go over housing add-ons for the most part, just because that is gonna be a completely separate video, um, and I just don't have time to go over that because it's just, it's a whole nother beast. It's literally a whole nother world. So we're gonna ignore those for now, but You'll see a lot of stuff on my screen here. Um, you'll see some buffs down here. You'll see a mini map. This is a light attack bar that shows me how many light attacks I do a second. Here's quest log. Um, you'll see like this is different. Um, my health pool and stuff's different. A DPS calculator and then this thing right here. So let's start off on the first thing and we're just basically gonna go into alphabetical order. So if you guys don't know, um, if you go to here, you can look at all the add-ons that you have, uh, you know, equipped or activated and you can deactivate them. If you click these down arrows, it will show you what they do and it will show you the libs or dependencies that you need as well. These libs or dependencies are going to be in minion. All you have to do is type this exactly in. So I have every single add-on as a picture in the Discord, in the ESO text chat, but I just want you guys to know that, that you can deactivate this stuff and you can out, allow, allow out-of-date add-ons. Um, they won't mess up sometimes. It's just sometimes they just don't update them anymore, um, but they still work fine. So you can do that as well. And then again, there's all these libraries here as well that, um, like I said, I'll go into a little later. And also I wanna mention there's there usually is a function to um, do this 
uh, account wide. So you don't have to do this on every single character. I'm going to kind of go over some of that in each of the individual ones, but then in the character screen, you can also do that as well. But let's start off with a, so we're going to start off with action duration reminder. What this does is it reminds you to refresh your actions basically. So it's a combat related one. So if you want to go into the specific add on settings, you go to settings and you go to add ons. Okay. So here's action duration reminder. Let's show you what this does. So if I go into combat here, okay, I use an ability. You're going to see above my character, a pop-up, um, right there, molten whip. You see that molten whip. That means that molten whip is gone now. And the activation is gone. You'll start to see in a second flames, oblivion, engulfing flames, unrelenting grip, blockade of storms, eruption. What that is, is it shows you what abilities are about to end or that you need to refresh. So what that does is basically it helps you with your rotations. So um, it allows you to know like, hey, this is when I need to up my uh, AOE ability again, or this is when I need to reapply it. And so it's a very, very useful add-on. And right here, you see what I'm talking about, account-wide configuration. You can click on to make it to where it is on for all of your characters, not just on this character. But basically, you're going to have four things here. I'm not going to worry about this patch thing. Um, not going to worry about that. The pop-up alert I'll get to in a second, but let's go through the core. So this is just multiple target tracking. Um, have that on. Um, you can clear it when the combat ends. Um, I have that off. Again, a lot of these settings, they're going to be settings that you guys can adjust to your liking, okay? This is just seconds to keep the timers after timeout or um, short timers. You can adjust these. Um, and then the bar, um, this is just uh, like the text that you see. Like it goes into a lot of detail. You can change like the text, um, the thickness, like the color, just a ton of stuff. And then the pop-up alert. Now, what this does is this is the thing that popped up that said, you know, lava whip or whatever. Um, you can do it. You can enable it. You can remove it when you cast it again because if you don't, then it'll just stay there and it kind of gets a little annoying. It has sound, seconds to show before end. It's just like you have all these settings that you can change the way you like it. But what you also can do is right here, move, move alert frame, sorry. So a move alert frame, this is the frame right here. So this is where it's at. If you don't want it right here, you can put it anywhere you want. You can put it here, you can put it here, you just drag it around, okay? I like mine in front of me because it just it's right in front of my eyes and I don't have to look away. So once you have it, you can press X and you can configure it the way that you want there. So something you can uh, do, um, you can to go into like cursor mode, you can press the period icon and it lets you just drag stuff sometimes the way you want it. So I just want to mention that. Now we're going to go into advanced filters. Advanced filters is just, it shows additional filter buttons in the inventories to separate item types. So you can turn your item count on. I have it off. Um, you can change the color. Uh, you can put sub filters on, disable sub filters, show icons and drop down box. Remember last filter drop down selection. So basically, um, you know, like if you look in your inventory, you can go here, you can like type in stuff like uh, Spriggins, I don't know that, Burning Spell Weave, Burning Spell Weave right here. Um, it's it's nice, uh, it lets you filter out things throughout the whole game, and that is like a nice little add-on to have just to help you find things. Now let's go into Alpha Gear 2. Um, you'll see right here, this is Alpha Gear, and what Alpha Gear is, is it basically lets you hotkey certain builds or loadouts um, so when you're in a battle after you're out of combat you can load out into like a more aoe specific damaged build so like i have grothdar for my aoe and then zon for my um single target because zon does more single target damage so it lets you just have multiple loadouts here which is really awesome and you can have skills assigned to it you have all these multiple profiles it's pretty amazing and here are all the settings. So again, you can kind of just read through some of these, but you can um, auto load the last build of profile. You can mark builds in your inventory. You can show equipped build. And then a lot of you guys actually ask me, how do I show the percentages on my armor in my uh, inventory and all that stuff? This is how with alpha gear. So right here, you can show the repair icon for your gear. 
You can show the repair cost. You can auto repair armor at store. So when you go into a store, it'll automatically repair armor. I have that turned on. Weapons. You can show the weapon charge and you can also automatically weapon charge your weapons. So when you're in a fight, it will automatically charge your weapons for you. Um, equipment panel. You can show the item condition percent, item quality as color. You can do all of that. So basically, this add-on is really, really solid. And this is the percentage I'm talking about. This shows you basically how much you know percentage left until it's broken. So that's really, really nice. You then have Alpha 2 gear integrations. I don't actually have any of this turned on, so I'm not going to go over it. Let's go to combat metrics. So what combat metrics is, is it basically logs all of your combat metrics. So whenever you see people that pull up these combat logs, a lot of times it's from combat metrics. Again, here is the use account wide settings. You just need to click it on to change it to all of your characters. You have tons of settings here that you can adjust. This is stuff that I'm not necessarily going to go into with this. I'm just going to show you kind of what I have active. So you can have it to where it keeps all your bo boss fights. You can keep fight history. You can change that. You can show stacks of buffs, monitor damage in large groups, monitor group damage, light mode. You can turn off Cyrodiil. You can show pets um, in your fight report. Um, just a lot of stuff. You can enable the live report window. What the live report window is, is I'll show you here in a second. So you can show DPS, incoming DPS, healing, all that stuff. So what the live report window is, if I click period, this is the live report window. You can move this anywhere you want. This shows you your DPS, your healing, your healing received, all that stuff. It's a really solid thing. I put it right here. You can make this bigger as well. Um, and this just kind of shows you the actual DPS that you're doing. Now to get to your combat metrics, you want to type slash CMX, okay? When you do that, this is what comes up. And this is what you probably see a lot when people are doing this. You have multiple things here. So we're on damaged cause, okay? So what that does is it shows you your DPS, um, you're out of your whole group, your percentages, your total, your critical. It goes through all of your skills, your up times of everything, it goes into your abilities and how many crits you had, your average, your max. It's just absolutely insane. And then if you have multiple fights, you can go to next fight. You can load your fights. You can save fights. So next, we're going to go into dark UI. Dark UI is basically how all of my UI looks like this. It's like very sleek, very clean cut. You guys ask me about this a lot. I actually switched my health bars are not dark UI anymore. I used to have dark UI, but I've started to like Foundry Tactical Combat. But basically, any menu that you see, my these menus, the skills, all this stuff, that is all dark UI. So these bars, all that stuff, it just looks really clean cut and a lot of people freaking love it. So with dark UI, you have some pretty self-explanatory settings. You got the color theme, you know, dark, light, mixed, rounded. You got glossy bars, theme attribute bar of LA, darker attribute bars, dark UI icons, low transparency backgrounds. Um, you've got some keyboard settings here and that's you got some gamepad settings as well. It's pretty self-explanatory with settings, but that is what dark UI is. I have that turned on. Now, I have a lot of this stuff turned off, and the reason I have a lot of this stuff turned off is I'm going to kind of go into that here in a second when I get to Foundry ta Tactical Combat, okay? So we're going to actually skip ESO Master Recipe List and Essential Housing, like I said, and we're going to go right into Foundry Tactical Combat. So... Before I go into this, I want to mention that with combat add-ons, there are a lot of them that do a lot of the same things, okay? So Foundry Tactical Combat, um, Shrendar, and one that I don't actually have on right now, which I did go over is this is one that you can use if you want, um, is Azura. Azura is also another good one. Um, also, a ban Bandit's user interface is also another combat UI. With these combat UIs, um, you're they're going to overlap a lot of times in certain areas, okay? Now, some of them, like, they basically can overlap. Like, you could have a whole different um, health bar and everything with Dark UI and Foundry Tactical Combat. Um, but one of them is only going to default to have on if it's, like, something like this. So the other thing, though that they will overlap a lot of times are buffs, okay? So you see these buffs right here. If you have all three of those on, Azura, Shrendar, 
and Foundry Tactical Combat, and you enable all your buffs and debuffs, you're going to have a screen full of just icons and things going off, and you're going to be like, dude, what am I playing right now? Am I playing like buff simulator? Like what is going on? So the reason that's the case is because you have all your buffs and debuffs turned on for every single one of those. So you do not need every single part of each of those add-ons. So what you have to do is you have to decide which one of those do you want to use? And that is honestly personal preference to you, but I'll show you what I use. So I'm using Foundry Tactical Combat for my health bars um, and for like my group bars. I'm not in a group right now, but normally, I'll show you here in a second. So let's go to it right now, actually. So if I go to Foundry Tactical Combat, if I go unlock positions, you'll see this. So we've got my raid frame, which I'm gonna actually make a little bigger. We got my group frame, we've got my player frame, and my target frame. So this Atronach health is gonna be right here, which I kinda like. My health frame's right here. This helps me so I can see what I, resources I have. This is all my group for my raid. I'm gonna make this bigger because this is has to have 12 people in it, so it needs to be a little bigger, and this is my group, so a group of four. What this comes with, though, is sometimes you can have buffs here, debuffs here, but I turned that off for Foundry Tactical Combat. So if I go to Foundry Tactical Combat, you'll see that. So if I go to Add-ons, Foundry Tactical Combat, um, enable buff tracking, I've turned off, okay? Enable unit frames, that's, that's my health bar and everything, okay? I have that on, enable combat log, I have that on as well. Uh, damage statistics on, advanced heart bar, hot bar on. Now here's like individual things. So player frame is on, target frame is on. So you can you can basically turn off all your frames right here, or you can go into individual ones and turn off uh, like your player frame, target frame, small group, raid frame. And what that is again is like if you're in a group, you're gonna have all your people's health. If you're in a raid, you're gonna have all your people's health kind of thing. You can change the widths, the heights, and the opacities of all that. The fonts, the name plates, the colors, like it's kind of insane so this is all the customization so like font colors white health bars red magic is blue stamina is green shield is orange you see i have a shield right now okay and then you have all of this stuff so you can change your tank roll color healer damage as well so that's all there and then um, this is for your combat log so what you saw though is i turned off my buffs okay enable buff tracking here's the reason so we're gonna skip to Shrindar. Shrindar, here's my auras, okay? Shrindar is the one I chose to use for buffs and debuffs, okay? I turned off Azura and I used Shrindar. So right here is the long buffs right here. So if you look into aura controls, so my long buffs, window two, okay? This is window two. Uh, let's see, unlock. See this right here? There's number, window two, long buffs, toggled buffs, passives. They all display here. Window one, short buffs, major buffs, minor buffs, enchant procs, and gear procs, okay? Frame six is my debuffs, targets debuffs. Frame four is my ground targets. Up here is nothing. Up there is your group's debuffs. But as you can see, okay, this is the one I chose. So I don't want this on Azura on and Foundry Tactical Combat's buffs and debuffs on because if I do, it's going to be really confusing. So in this, you can see that you can unlock this like I just did and you can move them around. So if you wanna move this anywhere, you can just click it and move it around, okay? All of these windows, you can assign stuff for all of these. You, this is your preference, okay? I like my stuff here where I can see it more and I like these because they have names. Some of these add-ons, they show you a buff above your skill bar and it's like I don't know what that buff is okay I don't I don't know by the picture some of them look so similar that I'm like okay what is that so I'd rather have the words so what I'll show you is is I'm gonna go into it right now you'll start to see my buffs pop see all of them come up burning spell weave minor berserk major force uh, ma minor prophecy that to me is easier to see than anything else that I would see before and then I see the debuffs I put a burning debuff on them burning embers is almost up all right um, and then my ground stuff, like I said, eruption, blockade of storms, that shows me how much time is left over with that. Now, you could even say that you don't even need the ground buffs because you have action duration reminders. See, so watch, it's going to pop right soon, blockade of storm, and then eruption. So I don't even need that technically, but I like having it there so I can get 
sort of an um, just an idea of when I need to do that. Now, when I go back into the settings, again, it's got some pretty, um, you know, you, you have a lot of options here. This is the general stuff. Um, this just controls everything, the fade out times, the thresholds, um, the sounds, um, just all that stuff, okay? And then you have, you can go into the filters. Now, I, if it makes you feel any better, I have not touched a single one of these options, okay? These are all default. So everything you see on my screen, if you like everything on my screen, this is all default, okay? So you do not have to change anything, but if you wanna spend the time in here, you can go through here, see what you wanna do. Again, this is just settings for it. You have your aura displays, right? You can change the colors can change the size, the text, you know, it's all your preference. I have not changed any of this. So I just want to mention that. Let's just go into some other things real quick. Um, while we're on combat, let's stay with that. We're going to go into some uh, one called Hodor Reflexes. Hodor Reflexes is basically a way to see certain ultimates. So like you can see your Warhorn is up with your group, or if you have a Warhorn, it kind of shows you who um, when one is going to be available. Um, and so this is something you would definitely want on like a healer class because you're going to, or a tank because you're going to be using this um, a lot. This ability is like really, really good. You've got that. I don't mess with the icons and style or vote or anything like that. This is just a more um, fancy way to do a, uh, a vote, like a, a vote if you're ready in a group. But I haven't messed with any of these, but this is good for healers and tanks. And then we got light attack helper, which is this right here, like I said. Light attack helper um, just shows you how many light attacks you do every second. You've got just the settings here. Again, it's not too hard to you know fix these. It's just text, colors, all that good stuff. We have one more that's raid notifier, but this is pretty simple, like I said. Um, all this is is in raids, it'll show you when certain bosses do certain skills. This is a necessity if you wanna do vet trials, I feel like, on PC. It's just, it makes your life so much easier because every single trial has an like something that you can change. So Aetherian Archive, everything. So you just go into this trial menu and you choose like, so Yokita's Meteor. You can have it self all or off. You obviously want it on because it tells you when he's doing his Meteor. That's really helpful, especially like when you're in a group, this is so helpful. So good combat one to have for raids. Just want to mention that before we go into our UI stuff. So the map that you see is called Voltan's, Voltan's mini map. So I want to show this real quick. So with the settings, you can have it on, you can have the mini map on, you can adjust the zoom, sub zoom, the dungeon zoom, mounted zoom, background, everything. While you're looting, you can have it on. While you're in um, heads up display, you can have it on. While you're mounted, you can have it on. When you're in combat, it can turn off, which I have. When you're at a siege, it can turn off. When you're um, doing whatever that is, it can turn off. So there are so many options here that you can basically go into. So if you want to move it, you just press period, grab it, move it where you want it. This is extremely helpful when you're in the world and you're trying to figure stuff out because this is something that will save your life when you're trying to just quest and get places. It's very, very useful. And now we're going to get into Bandit's UI here in a sec, um, but the, I want to go through um, a few more of these other add-ons real quick for you guys so you guys can see them. Um, so let's do inventory grid view. A lot of people ask about this. This is literally how I have the inventory look like a grid, like in old games. You can just have the settings turned on. You can change the um, outline quality, the icon size, the icon zoom level. It's pretty simple. This is how you see all of this it's really really nice i like it it lets you actually see the item and it's very very helpful okay so we're going to run through some of these a little quicker um now because these are pretty self-explanatory but we're going to go into loot log loot log just lets you see what everyone else in your group gets when they drop items um it's just a way to kind of like know like if someone got an item and you need to trade for it pretty self-explanatory pretty easy Lore books is a crucial add-on. This shows you all the lore books in a zone. You can go through all the settings here. You show unknown lore books. You can turn off like you already collected lore books. You just have so many, so many settings here. Um, this is really nice, as you can see. 
Um, if you go to a zone, um, let's just go up here. There's a lore book. It's really nice. Really nice to have. Um, another thing that you can get as well with lore books is Lost Treasure. Lost Treasure shows you um, all your treasure maps. Um, it shows you surveys. It shows you the exact place where to go. That's the red X that you see. Um, you can always turn this stuff off. Okay, guys, if you guys don't want this, you just turn it off. That's all you have to do to come here, turn it off. So if you don't want all that stuff, you do, it's, it's all good. Next is sky shards. This is another great one. Everyone suggests this again. It'll show you in sky shards. You don't have, um, if you don't want it on, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you can turn it off again. It's just something that's really, really helpful. Next thing is harvest map. Harvest map is basically how you see um, all of the stuff that you've harvested. So rune stones, rubidite ore, ancestor silk, all that good stuff. A lot of people don't like this. Um, if you don't like it, you can just turn it off again. So you just enable turn it off. Um, and if you go here to the pin types, so you can see all of it, smithing and jewelry. You can have all these icons, right? This is the icon. This is the icon for fibrous plants, wood. See, all you have to do is literally turn all this off if you don't want it. You can change the colors. But that is how you change all this. It's literally that easy. New thieves trove, hidden stashes, fishing spots. It's it's insane, guys. Like, and if you actually go to your map, so if I go to the um, Somerset area, I can go to filters. You can just deselect this stuff, and they won't show up on the map. So I can deselect lore books. Um, and that's why some of those lore books look like they have the purple icon because that's that's one that's overlapping. Um, you can turn off treasure maps. You can turn off delve bosses. You can turn so much stuff off. You can turn off all your map pins right here. It's just so easy to do and it's nice. If you don't want to see these little icons, it's something. But it is very useful for dungeons and raids because you can see where possible chests spawn. So now what I'm going to go into, guys, is Bandit's UI. This is something that is a whole slew of things. Um, this is another kind of like combat one, group um, group add-on. Uh, you can change so much of the settings right here. Um, you also have this side panel like I was telling you before. So like you have your bank, you have your group role. You can change. So you can change the healer, tank, uh, or DPS. You can change your dungeons, difficulty, or normal or veteran from here. You have Khajiit mode. You can... Um, find the group leader you can turn the mini map on and off which i have off because if you have this mini map on with your votans mini map it will bug out and you won't be able to see your mini map so make sure you have this turned off if you don't want that healer helper is another great thing this shows you so many stats on uptimes basically and percentages on like skills and like healing and all that stuff this is something i would definitely run if i were on a healer you can share stats dps as well from this um, you can display damage report. So this is exactly that combat metrics, CMX. It shows you all the stuff that you want to see, your uptimes, your damage, the amount of stuff that you do. It's basically the same exact thing. So that's why I'm saying it's nice to have these add-ons, but you don't have to have all of them turned on. Okay. And then you have just the user interface here. This is where all the settings are. So you can turn all that on and off by just clicking the check boxes. You have frames, okay? So this is where I've disabled the frames. This is the boss frame, or the player frame, I'm sorry. This I've disabled because I don't need it. Attackers, I've disabled these because I don't need those. Group, I've disabled these because I have my group frames already in Foundry Tactical Combat. Target frame, I've disabled because I don't need it because I have the target frame right here. Ability timers, I'm actually gonna uncheck these because I don't need to have these on because I already have timers on my abilities. So that's one that I need to unche uncheck. Buffs, I have these turned off because I already have my buffs active from Foundry Tactical Combat and Shrendar. Minimap, I have it turned off, I don't need it. Bandit's user interface is another option if you don't wanna use Foundry Tactical Combat, um, Shrendar, it kinda puts all that stuff together, but I mixed and matched my Foundry Tactical Combat and my Shrendar to create kind of what I have right now. And then the last couple add-ons that I wanna go into, guys, is I'll show you these crafting ones. These are ones that people ask me about as well. Um, 
One is Lazy Writ and Set Crafter. Um, basically, if you come over to a crafting table, you will see that you have this Lazy Set Crafter. What Lazy Set Crafter does is it will auto craft things for you, but if you have it selected, but this is where you can set up different styles and different traits and um, you know weights, all that stuff in here. You can add it to the queue and then you can have it crafted for you. It's really helpful if you wanna craft like a bunch of different training sets for people. It's a really nice add-on to have. Now, another thing is Craft Store. This shows you all the researchable items that you have researched on your character, the ones that you need. It shows you um, basically all the motifs that you have learned and the ones that you need. Um, let's see. I'll go into that in a second. Um, yeah, and so with cooking and provisioning, it shows you all the recipes that you know and don't know. With enchanting, it shows you you can craft multiple things like this, do the different levels, and you can have your writs and everything there as well. You can also change this to your other characters. This will allow you to see what they have activated. So basically, guys, I've went into mostly everything here in my add-ons. Again, I'm not really going to go into the ESM Master Recipe list. It's just kind of a side thing. Essential housing, not really going to go into too much. I went into Craft Store. Again, you've got all your settings right here. Uh, Master Merchant is just a add-on that allows you to see uh, traded items in the guilds that you're in and see the price average. So that's what Master Merchant's for. P-Chat is just an enhanced party chat right here. Um, Potion Maker is something in Alchemy where you, you can have it basically... Um, set up you can choose the traits that you want the solvents and you can exclude things and it will make the potions for you It's really nice um, You also can click Ritz and it will show you the Ritz you have to create Raffle gold is something for our guild raffles. So Revelox quest tracker is actually the quest um, Tracker box that you see up here it shows you all your quests and it removes your old quest Log and it's actually pretty nice and I really really enjoy it But you have just a lot of different settings in here that you can change but again, like I said, these are default settings. So I would just keep that in mind. I have not changed anything. I've just changed the location of where it's at on my screen. And then you have Ritworthy, which allows you to basically um, show you the materials on all your master writs that you do or do not have. So if I look here, it says I have everything. Um, here it says I need the Malakath motif. So that's what Ritworthy is. Now I'm gonna go into guys showing you um, in the character screen, a few more things. And so here in the character menu, again, you can go into the add-ons here and you can click and select them from here. This is just a way that if you want to do all of this without going into your characters individually, if they don't have a account wide option, you can just do it from here. Again, I have pictures of every single add-on that I have on right now. And I have the libs and dependencies. So that's all in our ESO text guide chat. You guys can check that out in the Discord. We have it pinned. So I'm not really going to go into every single one of these, but you guys can see those in our ESO text guide. I have every single one of these downloaded. But literally all you have to do is when you go into Minion, again, you just look for the things that's required and you download that one as well. And if it's not there and you don't have it, it will be read and it will show you that you need it. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. That was a long one, but I did want to cover that because I felt like you guys were really, really curious about that and wondering about the add-ons. And um, I hope that I explained it well enough to you guys. If you still have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Come in the Discord. Come in the Twitch chat. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can always ask questions there. Links to the Discord and the Twitch is in the description. But ask me questions. Let me know if you're still confused. I will try to explain any more to you. But I feel like I went through basically my whole setup, how I have it set up, and why things are the way that they are. So again, leave me a comment if you're still confused. I hope that this helped. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and heavy attack that bell icon if you do like my content and want to get updated with the newest content every time I release something. Make sure to share this as well with your friends if they are confused about add-ons since we have Graymore coming up. But stay tuned for new Graymore content here in the next couple weeks. But just until then, guys, remember to have faith, be great, and I'll see you guys later.